Good evening everyone. Welcome back to Maisie's Kitchen. So today we're going to be making famous Jamaican brown stew chicken. We have here a little chicken. And for those people who do not know how to break down a chicken, I just want to take a few moments to, to show you. The main thing is to find the joints of the chicken. So just cut. Okay. So here we are again. Just going to do this one and show you. Um, if you follow the joint, you can't go wrong. You can pretty much cut into the leg and the thigh here. And so you have, this is a quarter. And here are the wings. Same thing. Just find the joint and cut. If you stay within the joint, you can't go wrong. And next side, just make a cut. You could give it a little tear to see where the joint starts, okay? And then you just work through with your knife and there for the breast what i do is i just hold it like this cut that's your breast okay if you want to have an half cut your breast in half you can do this with um a meat cleaver but my knife is very sharp another thing how very easy that is like i don't need a meat cleaver just a little tap and voila you've done and for the back, I don't know how much people use it. I do. Just, it's a small chicken, like I said, so, you know, it's pretty tender, so don't need a meat cleaver. And that's how you break down a chicken. So here are the pieces from, from the chicken. We're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the skin. You can leave the skin on if you prefer, but I'm going to show you if you want to cut the wings in half, it's pretty much the same thing. There's a joint in every part of the chicken and you can get nice clean cuts very easily. Remove all the fat and I'm going to come back and show you how to put this together. Okay. And I look forward to seeing you during cook up time. Stew chicken. See you in a few minutes. Hello guys. Welcome back. So now we're going to be seasoning our chicken. It has been washed um, with vinegar and the fat removed. So as I told you before that my favorite seasoning salt was Larry's seasoning salt, but I'm all out. This is another favorite of mine. It's just like a no name, but it's very, very good. Don't underestimate this. This is still very good. So I'm going to be substituting with this, this brand today. And I'm not going to be measuring, I'm just going to be doing like shake, 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 four shakes, okay? And um, we're also going to be frying our chicken before we do the brown stew because this is Jamaican brown stew. We're going to be adding some black pepper. As you can see, it's not a big chicken, so we don't need to be do using a lot of spices. And I will be adding more seasoning later on, but during the, the frying process, to avoid the smoke, we're not going to be putting a lot of spices on, okay? So right now what's in here is your seasoning salt and black pepper and a little bit of paprika. That's all we're going to be using to fry because we don't want too much smoke in the kitchen, right? And then we're going to just blend it together. You know, our oil is eating. We're going to be frying the chicken. So as you can see, we've combined black pepper, paprika, and seasoning salt. You can look over here. We have some of these spices, these condiments that we're going to be having. Garlic, onion, a bit of green pepper, thyme, and tomato. So um, now is... we're going to come over to our stove and we're going to be frying our chicken. So the main thing here to get nice dark color is to make sure you, your oil is really hot because if the oil is not hot, then your chicken is going to stick to the pot. Good way to tell if your oil is hot, you wait for that fat. Hear that? that is. And this is when you back up, okay? Because you know there's going to be a lot of splashing. So when it's ready to turn, it will naturally just lift itself from the pot, just separate itself from the pot, and then you can just cut it and it, it turns very easily. As you can see, we remove our skin, so 
the main thing about doing the breast, I always remove the breast first because they're going to become too chewy once you. So we like to, I like to remove those first. And then continue with the, with the browning of the other parts of the meat. So see, we want this to cook a little bit, but this is what I'm talking about. When it's ready to turn, then it will separate itself. So, but I want a darker color, so I'm going to be browning it for a little while longer. It's okay for your white meat not to cook thoroughly through. Because we just want to give it a little bit of color, guys. Right, so as you can see, we've done our frying, and now we're just going to be making our gravy. So we're going to be adding all the spices. Don't worry about that nice color in the, in the bottom of the pot is what's going to give us a nice rich gravy. This is some garlic. Then I have some garlic, some tomato, thyme. And a bit more tomato. Just gonna combine this. Have it break down for a little bit, and then we're gonna add some water and other chicken. As you see, these spices are deglazing the bottom of the pot, so it's gonna give you a little bit of color. At this point, if you wanna add, if it's your preference, to add some soy sauce or browning, this is a good time for you to do that. Okay. So the reason I'm doing it like this, where I'm cooking, pre-cooking some of these seasoning before I had the meat, is because the chicken is so small, it's very tender, so it will cook very fast. And if I should do everything together, then we're gonna break apart the protein, okay? We're gonna have it broken down too fast, and then by the time everything is cooked and combined, then you know it's gonna be like a mush. So now that we we've blanched our seasoning and have it so nice and soft, then we can go ahead and we can add like a cup of water. We're gonna be adding some more spices. Maybe some all-purpose seasoning. See that nice color already? And also, this is also working as a thickening agent for gravy. So another tip to remember is that after frying your chicken, do not use all that oil. Please remove some of the oil, otherwise your chicken will be way too greasy. Okay, so you just need enough oil to to break down your your onions and your your peppers and so on. Okay. So right now we're gonna have a touch of soy sauce. And also, we're going to go in with a bit more paprika because we just had a little bit in the beginning. So now we're going to, we're looking for color here, guys, as well as flavor. But right now, we need some color. And we're going to go, we're going to be adding our chicken right now. We're going to put our stove on eye. Just combine everything together. See already, if you can see this, you can see the gravy is starting to form nice and thick. And this should take about 20, 25 minutes to cook. Okay, so we're going to cover this and let it do its thing. And then we're going to come back and see what else we need to add. If we're going to put some ketchup or we're going to put some brown in. Which I'm not quite sure we will need browning, but just in case if you don't get the color that I want, then I will be adding some browning and some ketchup. But we'll see. We'll just give it a few minutes to let it do its thing. And I would like to have this, guys, just, just you know, without as much additives as possible. So. We're gonna see. 
okay so this is what it looks like now and I'll come back and show you the finished product so I'll see you in a few minutes welcome back guys so we've now completed our brown stew chicken and I've decided to keep it natural as possible so I didn't have any browning or any ketchup that good stuff so what we have here what I did add though was some all-purpose seasoning and I'm gonna be plating with I'll show you some rice and peas So, and we have some coleslaw. So I'm gonna be plating, making a nice plate. I'm hungry. And then I'll come back and show you the finished product. So thank you so much. Hi guys, welcome back. So I told you I'll return and show you after I do a plating. So this is our finished product, rice and peas, coleslaw. She already started eating some as you can and see. And stewed chicken, so I can't <laughs> wait to dig into this baby. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you very, very much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I just want to give a shout out to, to Maurice and Essie. Thank you guys so much for your support. I know, you know, you didn't have to do it, but God bless you so much. And I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that shout out. Um, you didn't have to, but you took time out to help someone who's just starting out. And I just pray that everything that you do will prosper. Okay, so God bless you richly. And thank you and thank you to all my subscribers and all the subscribers from Maurice and S's. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much. And I look forward to many, many more videos to come. So God bless you. And guys, keep up the good work. You're doing amazing. I just love your love. Mwah. God bless.